Hi guys, Suze here and welcome or welcome back to my channel that Aussie mum. So as you may have noticed, I have had a name change from His Wings My Refuge to That Aussie Mum. It needed to happen. It's a rebrand for 2021. There is a video explaining why I did this and I will link it in the cards up above. Today's video is another pillow stripping slash washing video. Now, all of my laundry stripping videos, pillow stripping videos have just shot off, absolutely taken off and I actually don't understand why. However, there's been a lot of controversy about whether you should strip your clothes or whether you should just wash them in the washing machine with hot water. So I thought I would try something a little bit different. So instead of putting the pillow in a tub with borax and washing soda or white vinegar and bicarb soda or whatever. I'm just going to chuck it straight in the washing machine. I'm going to use my regular method laundry detergent and I am going to use white vinegar instead of softener. Now you'll remember if you look back at the pillow stripping video that I did which I will link up above here that yes it did come clean soaking it and the water came out really yellow and the pillow came out pretty good. Now, this is that pillow. Now, obviously it has been used since, so it is starting to yellow again, which means that it's probably time for another wash. However, this pillow has not been done. And as you can see, it's a lot yellower. So if I hold them up together, which I'm not sure if you can see in this light, but, this is the one that I stripped using vinegar and baking soda, and this is the one that I've done nothing to. I'm actually going to put them both in the washing machine and do it at the same time, because they both need to be done. This is starting to yellow on the side here. But I want to actually see if the advice that I've been so helpfully given in the comments on previous videos if you follow any of that, you'll know that it hasn't always been friendly, which is fine. Everyone's allowed to have their opinion as long as they're kind about it, really. So I'm going to put these in a hot wash with my regular detergent and vinegar instead of softener because that's what I've been using since I started uh, for the last sort of six months. I've been using vinegar instead of softener, which has been making a massive difference, I have to say. And we'll see if they actually come out as clean as everyone claims that they will. I have a feeling that they will, and I am more than happy to try all different things. So if you think that you've got a way of doing it that is different to the way that I have done it the previous times and this time, please let me know in the comments below. But I just have to ask, guys, can we comment in a nice way that doesn't make people feel bad because the last two pillow stripping and laundry stripping videos I got some pretty nasty comments and I actually don't think that they were warranted. Advice is great, you are entitled to your opinion but not in a nasty way. So it would be really awesome if you do leave a comment down below, tell me what you, how you would do it and um, you know if it's something different to the way I've done it and this doesn't work, well I'm willing to give it a try. but. Let's try and keep it civil, folks, because I really want this channel to be a positive channel. In saying that, let's get these pillows into the washing machine, and in the next hour or two when they're washed, we'll see how white they came out. The only thing that is gonna be obviously different is that we're not gonna get to see the color of the water at the end, but from everyone's comments, they're all saying that it's coming from other things, from dyes and things like that. So you know what, we'll just leave it at that. And we'll let the cleanness and the whiteness of the pillows be the test, shall we? Let's do this.
Alrighty, wash is done, and you're just gonna have to excuse any noise that you hear because we are on holidays at the moment. Daniel's outside gurneying, pool coping. Kids are in the pool making a noise. But that's bad for life for you, so it's what it is. Now, the washing machine has finished running. I'm not overly hopeful about how these pillows are gonna turn out in terms of the lumpiness. Um, there is no agitator in this washing machine. Well, there's no pole agitator in this washing machine. There's lots of little agitators in the bottom. So technically it should help, but alas, no. It's all lumpy. So, this one is not my one. This one was the one that was already quite white, except for the yellow in the neck. And to be perfectly honest, it's still yellow in the neck. Let's pull this one out and have a look. Alright, I hate to say it, but everyone that said, chuck it in a hot wash and wash it as you would normally and then they don't need to be stripped, I don't think you're right. Because this is still just as yellow as it was before. If you compare it to the one that was pillow stripped a little while ago, and if you can see that, plus it's extra lumpy now. This is still very yellow. Um, it did not come out as clean and white as if I had pillow stripped it, like I did with this one. See the color difference there. So I have to say that I think there is some merit in stripping your pillows, even if it was just with vinegar and bicarb soda and letting it soak. I I honestly think that you are going to get a better result. You're going to get a whiter, cleaner pillow. It smells better than this one does if you actually soak it in the tub with some kind of reactant because that is nowhere near as white as I managed to get this pillow and this pillow was way yellower than this one. So for all of those naysayers out there who said that pillow stripping or laundry stripping or whatever doesn't work or doesn't do anything. I am going to politely disagree with you that pillow stripping, that, that stripping your pillow with even just bicarb soda and vinegar does actually make a big difference. So there you go. Like I said, willing to experiment, but my opinion is that stripping your pillow before putting it in the washing machine makes a huge difference. And so that's it for this video. I think I'm gonna to have to go ahead and strip this pillow. It smells clean, but I think I'm gonna to have to strip it if I wanna get all of that yellow stain out. That is the end of the video. And some people are not gonna be very happy with me. And I guess it is what it is. And like I said, I am willing to experiment and try people's ideas and see what holds merit and what doesn't. So go ahead, leave a comment down below, of course. Remember, keep it kind. We don't want any trolls on this channel like I seem to have managed to garner from this kind of video. Um, but I would like to hear your opinion on the washing. Have you tried both or have you only tried the one? Um, and if so, are you willing to try both and see how it works for you? Leave that in the comments down below. Of course, give this video a great big thumbs up if you're into this kind of thing and lifestyle videos, faith and family. Um, and click that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell so you get notifications when new videos pop up. And this is That Aussie Mama, out. Bye.